Okay, guys, I just want to say, I want to chip in. You guys are doing a fantastic job feeding them, by the way. Um, good job on the note. About them. Oh, oh, I'll get that for you, bud. Don't worry. Uh, because they still have that dog aspect about them. Uh, not only do we give them all kinds of tur turkey and chicken, uh, but we also have a good combination of milk bones in there every once in a while. There you go, buddy. Shouldn't forgive me. So this is Alaska, the one who was a little bit smaller and had the pinker nose in the back. His name is Guardian. 440. This guy's in the 460, 470 range. Hey, bud. Go, good boy. And you can see he is a giant. In fact, I'll stand him up super quick so I can show you guys just how big he is. Hey, Journey, come here, bud. Good job, bud. Here you go, buddy. Oh, you can see yeah, he's, oh a, he's a very big boy. As much food as you have. Remember not to pet them though because they do not like to be pet and they will run away. With that, so let's go ahead and just feed them all the food we got. Oh, <laughs> good fell. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> oh, so I think the other one's not that hungry. Oh. <laughs> it oh. dropped another one. <laughs> I'll find it later. Jeez. Uh, and a lot of that, guys, is unfortunately due to selective breeding. Now, does anybody know uh, how white as you know someone's spitting up? or saliva or anything like that. Uh, rather, it's going to be projectile vomit mixed with saliva, meaning that he could literally hurl on whoever he wants, and that's his form of spit, without ever getting up. And that is 2,000 pounds of crushing you. Yeah, that is why there's a fence right here, because he is not like many animals. He is not like zebras or giraffes. So for their safety, we do have a fence right here for them. Has he spit on you? Oh, he never has. I mean, luckily for Gabriel, he is actually very uh, well taken care of here. He gets around 30, 30. I've been hanging out with him since 2012. I used to come here and feed him. Um, at the park when I was younger. That's real right there. And because of that, it's very hard to feed Journey at the fence. Wow. So what I'm gonna do is just keep throwing Journey away, getting him as far away from Gabriel as possible, and we'll just feed the white one at the fence. Uh, with that said, guys, listen to the unique noises they make. Journey! Hey! Oh. So did you hear that? The little back and forth right there? He did the noise at Gabriel. That was a way for him saying he doesn't want to fight. Gabriel on the- yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. The other hand said, Roar, I want the food all myself. So that, no, <laughs> that shows me uh, that Journey does need to be thrown away super quick. Go Journey. Uh, and then we'll just hang out with Gabriel right here. Uh, so Gabe, he is actually about 20 pounds bigger than his brother right back there. So we're uh, That's delicious. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm ready to move on. Really quick, guys. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can actually pull you guys up to this fence because there's actually some holes in the fence. So you guys can actually get like no one more piece. And I'll talk a little more about them and they'll probably hang out with some wolves. <laughs> um, but a little bit about these guys. Does anybody know how you can tell the difference between a male and a female? It's pretty easy for lions. Mm, <laughs> it's going to be the mane, right? Yeah. Uh, now, guys, does anybody actually look at that tail? Uh, does anybody know what the mane's true purpose is? Why the males have it and the females don't? That's because males have a very important job. They have to sleep at home for 20 hours a day. Now, when these lions fully grown <laughs> are sleeping important. 20 hours a day, they're going to be pretty much defenseless. The females are out taking care of the kids or hunting for the family. The men are at home taking naps. Now, if you're taking a nap and a lion walks onto your premises, you want to make sure you have some sort of... 